We've now got our two patch pockets on here and our facings done. We're now going to do our side seams. Now, if you have an overlocker, you can do this bit by overlocking. Otherwise, you're going to do a zigzag. We're going to prepare all these seams. We're going to go up the side, round the sleeve, round the sleeve and back down the other side. So we're then ready to do our joining together. So this is a lengthy process of zigzagging using the zigzag stitch on my machine. I'll start it and you can come back when I have finished doing both sides. We're going to do both sides the same, all the way up, across and down. We have now prepared our side seams with a zigzag to prevent them from fraying. See that? This is an effect that's better created on an overlock because you don't get a single thread. However, unless you're going to do run and fell seams or French seams, this is a, an adequate alternative. We're now going to sew the sides together and we're going to get stitched down from the sleeve down to the point opposite the turning for the slit at the bottom of the side. So we're going to put some pins in just to keep that secure. And we're just going to put this one here just to mark this, the place we're going to stop sewing because we're going to go in a straight line down to that point. We're not going to stitch around the curve. Which may be a bit counterintuitive, but it'll be in the wrong place if we do, so we're not going to stitch round that bottom curve. So, we put our sleeve on here. We're going to go just over one centimetre at this point, just to make sure we've got plenty of room to play with. Just about like that. That's, we'll see how far that is. Ready? We go, oh, don't forget, not on zigzags. There we go. So, round here, round the first curve, under the armpit. Second curve. There we go, keep going around. And now we're going to get onto the straight. Because it's nice straight lines, we can see that we're going in a straight line. We're heading straight down here to the pin. When we get to that point, we're opposite. The point at the side here, we're going to go backwards slightly just to secure the bottom of that seam. Press that and remove. Take out our pins. Now, this is the point where we do, we create the slit at the bottom. You'll see that we now lie this seam open but we're creating a split here. So if we pin that flat, this is our side seam. And we create a nice even split down here. Once again on this fabric using our uh, our stripes to guide us but you should have a straight line to follow so you just make a nice even V shape and at this point we're going to just pin these in to, se to secure this so that when we stitch round here we are accurate in our placings we don't end up with any strange rooks in the fabric To secure and to top stitch the V, if you look on the right side, we're going to be top stitching from up the sides. But we go here, we're going to create a V. And I'm going to stitch this on the wrong side because it's easier to see where you're going. So we're going to use the. We want it, this needs to be reasonably secure. So we're going to start here. 
once again, I'm, I like to sew from my left to the right. It makes it easier for me to see what I'm doing. We're going to, we've, we've pinned it down. We're going to have a centimetre and a half seam allowance to hold that edge over. And we're going to stitch slowly up here till we're level with the point that we were level with before. This is where it gets exciting. We're going to leave the needle in the fabric, swivel your fabric round, and we're going to aim to stitch now to just above the top of the, the, the bottom of the side seam. Leave the needle in the fabric, swivel, take the pin out of the way if it's annoying, put the foot back down, again so the opposite side of the triangle, take the foot out, swivel and we're going to go back down this side. see what we have there is a nice flat secure side split in your fabric. There you go and I'm now going to do the same on the other side. Right we've done everything we need to do technically to bring it all together. We've done our V's, we've done our pockets. What we're going to do now is just hem the bottom of the garment and hem the sleeves and then the top is all finished. Isn't that fantastic? So uh, hemming the bottom we are going to turn the bottom hem over once and over again so that we seal all the raw edges inside. So it's like a little tube there. It's a very simple, it's the simplest way to do a hem. We don't have to do invisible hemming because this is a scrub, this is a piece of uniform and it won't matter. We just need to make sure it's really tidy because that's a rough edge at the bottom of the garment. We're going to do that on both the front and the back and then a very similar thing to the sleeves. First thing I'm going to do is go over to the iron and I'm going to press that into position using the iron to make sure that it's really quick to sew. You'll see that I've pressed that down before I put a couple of pins in just to hold it while I sew. Your iron is your friend when you are stitching, particularly when you are making things that involve long stretches, not very exciting sewing. Um, if you if you iron as you go, you'll find it, life is much easier. So just put those pins in there just to keep that in place. You'll see I turned under just a small amount under here, just to it's about a quarter of an inch, just to hide those raw edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch again because I know that my bob inside gives a reasonably good finish. I'm going to top do the equivalent of top stitching but from the back because then I know I'm getting right on the line where I want to be. In fact what I quite like to do for this one I use uh, the I position the needle on the left hand side uh, on the left hand side of my uh, machine or I would do if it would go over there for some reason it's not doing that. There we are I've done it now. So the needle has swung across, so it is the left-hand position. I can get a little bit closer to the edge of the fabric easily. I'm going to go into reverse first, just to secure that end, and then I'm going to come forwards. I'm then going to make the stitch longer. And we're going to go along here, ensuring that I've got all of those raw edges in, but I'm keeping the hem in place. Mm -hmm. 
So we have it fixed very clearly on the wrong side and very neatly on the right side. And then we've done the back and then we've done the front. Come back to me when I finish the other side. So there we are, we've done the front and the back bottom hems of our tunic top. We'll just take off any odd little bits of cotton off, we try and snip as we go, otherwise you end up with an awful lot of trimming to do at the end. And that just leaves us with two sleeves to do. We zigzagged these seams or we would overlock them because when you cut something at a slight angle on fabric, it has a habit of fraying. You can see how it's trying to fight its way through the zigzags there. So even though we're going to hide that, um, and because we've zigzagged rather than overlocking, we can't leave it as a raw edge because it would be a bit, little bit uncomfortable. We are going to turn this in twice, keeping it narrow because we, it's on a bit of a curve and we don't want to be causing snags and difficulties. So we're going to turn this in and stitch it down all the way around, hiding all those zigzags inside. At the armpit area, we are going to open that seam flat and turn it in so we don't end up with too much of a ridge. So let's pin that in place first. Because then we can work our way round. With this one, it's easy just to go round, roll it in your fingers, press it down, put in a pin. I'm going to do that all the way round and then we'll stitch it together. I have pinned down the sleeve all the way round, just a very narrow hem because of the way it lies you don't want a great big, a big hem here, we haven't allowed a huge amount of turn, this is just a very narrow hem. I'm going to stitch that down all the way round for both of them and see how we go. First of all we do our correction to make sure we're not on the zigzags put the foot down, I'm going to move into the left hand position for my needle so that I can be basically on the flat while I'm sewing or getting close to the edge. Rather than having the foot tipping over onto the fabric underneath. Okay, off we go. So here we are, we're coming to the end of sleeve edge. Snip that off. And we've got a nice neat hem around the outside edge and a neat rolled hem on the inside. And all we have to do then is turn it the right way out. This particular size is a comfy size for, um, you know, an average medium to large person. Um, but we can, you know, you can always adjust the sizes. There's your pockets. We press down and the edges, you see the spit at the side is neat. The pockets are in the right place. The facing's lying flat. And then when we, f when we pack them, we fold them under like this, all press nice and neatly. And we try and put a little label on the front that says, thank you for everything you do because these scrubs are made with love.